want to give your home a little pick-me-up? It's the little things that can really have the biggest impact in making your house feel finished. So some of the details here at Monroe Furniture Center, we'll talk a later in the program and they have so many here. So we'll meet with Jerry Beckman, he's the owner of Monroe Furniture Center later. Right now I'm meeting with the owner of Ubersox Automotive. Joining me is Michael Ubersox and he's brought along his service manager, Aaron Truehart. Thanks for joining me, gentlemen. Thanks for Thank having you. us. Now, Michael, I was looking at your website and I noticed when I scrolled all the way down to the bottom, it said something like 1999 to 2021 for the, the website credentials. Does that mean that's how long you've been around? How no, long have you been in business? Um, actually, I've been in business since uh, 2000. Okay. Yeah, 21 years. 21 years. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And um, tell us a little bit about the history. Um, so I, actually, it's kind of an interesting history because I used to work for the people that owned our current location in Monroe. And um, I worked for them for about five years. And then in uh, uh, the fall of 2000, um, I decided to do my own thing. And uh, so I started a place in Darlington, which, we, uh, which cr currently still exists. And um, we did real well there. And then we, along the way, bought a couple new car stores, which we recently sold. And uh, now we're just scaling it back. and. Uh, now we have the Darlington store and the, the Monroe store that uh, we're focusing on. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, it's been a busy 21 years. <laughs> yeah, it's been an entertaining 21 years, <laughs> to say the least. Aaron, oh, right now this is your sweet spot. I, I'm, obviously you just mentioned that you sell cars. Sure. Um, but you do so much more there too. And Aaron, mm -hmm. you're the service manager, so t tell me about the types of service that you have there. We're a full service dealership. Uh, do everything from tires and brakes to alignments, oil changes. Uh, something we took on here recently is uh, car and truck accessories so we can outfit either your current car or the one you're possibly purchasing from us. Is that what I was just talking about with the furniture store? If you want to make something a little extra special, put your personal touch on it's, it, is that what you're talking exactly, about? Exactly. Personalize your vehicle. And what are some examples for cars and trucks that people like? Well, I mean, you can do something as simple as putting WeatherTech floor mats in it to protect your carpeting to putting a tonneau cover, uh, running boards, surf bars uh, on the exterior, kind of brighten it up. Uh, just pretty much anything you can think of, you can do it. So it can go from practical to pretty. Mm -hmm. yep. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. And functional. And, and functional, mm -hmm. of course we have to have functional. That's the best of, of all the worlds when you can get all, of, all three there. Michael, I'm curious as an owner, what are your goals in dealing with the customers, running the business, and maybe for the future of the business? So, you know, obviously with the, actually I have 31 years or 32 years of experience, so I've seen a lot um, over the years as far as different business practices and, you know, uh, just different things. And, and my, my ultimate goal is, is I like to say your car experience or your car buying experience reimagined. My ultimate goal is, is you know, for people to come in, make it a nice, relaxing experience, um, you know, kind of an in and out, you know, everybody's busy today, and uh, followed up with the service with Aaron, and um, just, just grow the business uh, with that, and then I have a lot of ultimate goals, but uh, my ultimate goal for these places is to be the best uh, pre-driven experience in the uh, Greene County and Lafayette counties. Mm -hmm. Now you'd mentioned that you'd worked in the industry before you were an owner and, and running it. And I think that's, those are some of the best bosses because they know firsthand what it's like right. to, to be in, in deep with customers and making sales and making a living doing it too. Well, and, and uh, you know, ultimately, you know, some, you get intimidated at times, you know, thinking that you're, you're uh, maybe or you're pushy or maybe you're, bothering people but at the end of the day you know they their transportation is their life you know they they uh they don't depend on their car to get to work they depend on their car to you know haul their kids to soccer practice uh they depend on their truck to you know for their living so you know we're i hope we're we're, we're providing a great service and uh in, in sales and service for our customers and maybe some peace of mind too correct so you had mentioned I guess a, a tagline, your car buying experience reimagined. Tell me a little bit more about that. So ultimately, you know, I've seen the high pressure um, sales and the, you know, for lack of better terms, stuffing things down people's throats, so to speak. And I don't, in our business, I don't want to do that. I want to, you know, people to come in, obviously, you know, give them a fair deal. 
um, you know, because obviously we have to be profitable as well or we won't be there. And uh, but make it a pleasant experience for them. So next time they think of a, a, a different vehicle or they think of a, you know, some service needs, they think of us. Alrighty, and so maybe they will. That's yeah. all of our time, believe it or not. It went so fast. Yeah. Thanks for coming in today. It was nice to meet you, Michael. Yes, Thanks you for too. coming Thanks in too, Aaron. Nice to see you again. And we'll right. see you again on the other side of this break.